I'm done, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we looking for? Uh, right now, Floris. You have to so, pretend like I'm not talking to you. Tell me what you're looking for. What do you mean? So, like, see, right now we're looking for... Right now we're looking for Victoria Chloris, the orange guy tree from... Let's go! <laughs> hey guys, Daniel here. Just waiting for Jean, heading up to our local stomping ground, the Diaglia Ranges. Diagula. 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 Yeah, Diagula Ranges. That includes Diagula National Park, Mount Glorious, Mount Nebo. It's been raining a lot today. But yeah, we're just gonna head up to our local mountains, check out the spots we know, hopefully get the frogs we know as well. Should be an easy night, it's been raining enough. All these frogs should be out. Uh, but then again, we've had some pretty average nights when it has been raining up there. It's been warm enough today, so the roads should be nice and hot. We should get some frogs hopping along the roads as well. Someone stole my t-shirt. Okay. Oh. Yes, nice. Latoria Chloris. Hey, first frog of the night, um, and probably one of my favorite tree frogs, Latoria Chloris or the orange eyed tree frog. Um, this guy's sitting in such a good way. You actually see that pur those purple markings on the back of his legs, which is so indicative of the species, and those beautiful bright red eyes. Very cool, I love these guys. That is such a cool frog. But we're on this sort of big cascading stream in the middle of the rainforest. It's a bit slippery. It's very slippery. <laughs> Don't want to slide down at I, all. I feel like if I slide, we could just keep on going forever straight down that yeah. massive gorge. It would not be fun. <laughs> Unmistakable sound of a tusk frog. <laughs> Hanging out somewhere behind this rock though. Might be a bit inaccessible. What a nice spot for him. Yeah, nice little hidden secluded spot. We'll probably just leave this guy be. I don't want to destroy any habitat. Absolutely. We've just arrived at the aptly named frog pond. It's the most hectic cacophony of frog noises. I can't even count the species. Hey, Daniel. What a spot. So who's diving in first? Well, <laughs> um, all these little dots on top, they're all frogs. All these little notches sticking out of the top of these wings. How insane is that? where to start ticking things off. We, let's go with the, four, the smallest and the largest. <laughs> the smallest is... If you can hear us, that is. Can you hear us at all? <laughs> We're gonna have to yell. Take off number one, Latoria Phallax, Eastern Sedge Frog. So these guys here, they're uh, in Amplexus. The, the male's on top here, the small guy, and on the bottom is the female. What are you doing, Daniel? Are you going in there? That's all right. You just did that. There's actually one right here. 
trying to get into a good spot to film this Tyler Eye without falling into the water. Victoria Tyler Eye. But I've got eye shine on this frog. Can you see the eye shine? It's one of the primary ways that we find these frogs. And this is a great barred frog. I want to go on him slowly because they have a tendency to flatten out the moment I try and get footage of them. Let's see if I can... Here we go. They often flatten out just to look like a, a leaf. He's flattening his face out. Try and look as leaf-like as possible. If I show you from up top, if I was walking through the forest, you would just miss these guys. Such a cool frog in our second, uh, second Mixify species, Mixify fasciolatus. Well, this is never what we like to see. Right next to this amazing frog pond, which is absolutely abundant with at least, I think I can hear about seven different species. And we've got this massive cane toad. Rhinella marinus, an introduced species that has done absolutely unprecedented damage on native fauna. And these things are just built to eat and breed. Absolute unit. What a massive cane Not the biggest I've ever seen, but still absolutely humongous. Those venom glands on the side, which is, you know, the main reason these do so much havoc. You know, that aside, it's such an impressive animal, and you have to respect. You have to respect them. What they've but, done here. But I just wish they weren't here. Absolutely. Because <laughs> they just do so much damage to the frog population.